Amira Lalissa joined the cast of 90 Day Fiancé Season 8, eager to begin a new life with her long-distance partner, Andrew. But getting from her hometown in France to Andrew in the United States proved harder than expected on account of the pandemic. After a series of arguments, manipulation, and two failed attempts to enter the U. S. Lalissa decided to break things off with Andrew. Now, newly single Lalissa lives in Las Vegas, where she's enjoying the nightlife, dating, friends, and traveling. The introspective cast member has become a fan favorite because she seems to learn and grow in challenging situations. Lalissa's many thoughtful quotes showcase her resilience and her always evolving mindset. Dot she knows when to walk away. Dot I will not let him control me ever again. Dot maybe she should have had this epiphany before Mexico, if not sooner, but Lalissa did eventually come to the conclusion that she needed to take control of her life and end the relationship. Dot she spoke these words during a tell all episode, but it seems clear that she internalized them when she returned to France. Lalissa ended up realizing that pursuing Andrew had been a mistake, and, luckily, she figured it out in time for the couple to break up with relative ease, all things considered. She's a romantic. I am always daydreaming about love. Lalissa initially comes across as slightly naive, ignoring Andrew's many red flags for the sake of the relationship. But as the season progresses, she finds her own voice and, ultimately, does what's best for her. Dot it also becomes apparent that Lalissa isn't naive, rather she's a hopeful and romantic soul who is always daydreaming about love. While things begin to fall apart with Andrew, Lalissa continues to remain hopeful for her future happiness. However, when she realizes her happiness does depend on Andrew, she stops wasting her time and moves on to a new journey. Dot she soul searches. It seems like the way to find myself is to go abroad. Dot Lalissa was candid in the series about feeling like she doesn't fit in very well in her small French hometown of Summer. She attributes that, in part, to the fact that she's half French and half Egyptian. Throughout the series, Lalissa hints at the fact that it's not just love that she's searching for. She says she is attempting to find herself via traveling and new experiences. Since ending things with Andrew, she's done exactly that, traveling to Canada and California and settling, at least temporarily, in Las Vegas. She pays attention. It's my dream to go to America, but the number of people around me that support my relationship with Andrew is close to zero right now. Andrew Kenton Amira Lalissa Serbia USA visa and 90 day fiance. So many cast members continue on in toxic relationships, even after everyone in their lives tells them not to. It took Lalissa a little while to internalize the advice of her loved ones. However, she began taking a mental note of Andrew's behavior, as well as her support system's reaction to that behavior, almost immediately. In her case, Lalissa's best friends and family members gave her some solid advice. Lalissa noticed her friends and family had their reservations about Andrew, and it seems like she had plenty of her own reservations as well. Unlike other cast members, Lalissa was never oblivious. She was watching and waiting, and eventually made the right decision. She heeds wise advice. There are no kids that want their parents to disapprove of their partner, so now I have to find a way to fix that. Dot Amira Lalissa father dad Hamdi Andrew Kenton and 90 day fiance. Lalissa's father was incredibly loving and supportive while she struggled to navigate her relationship with Andrew. 
Hamdi had valid concerns about Andrew and the risky trips Lalissa was making to attempt to reunite with him, and he was not shy about expressing those concerns to his daughter. Even though Lalissa disregarded her father's advice in the past, she clearly places a lot of importance on his opinion. When she calls him for support at the airport, she finally takes his advice, breaks up with Andrew, and returns home to France. Because Lalissa listened to her father's wisdom, she avoided prolonged misery in her failing relationship. She does things on her own terms. I want to have kids, but not like that. Andrew wanting to have kids right away was always a sore subject for Lalissa, who said on the show that she wanted them, but not immediately. She is smart enough to recognize it's just being forced into something she doesn't want to do, and stubborn enough, in a good way, to refuse to cave to his demands. So often couples think having children will fix their troubled relationship when, in reality, that is almost never the case. Children can add additional strain and stress to a bad relationship and can make an already difficult situation worse. It's admirable that Lalissa prioritizes her wants and needs. She knows her worth. And Andrews. I realized he was not worth it. Lalissa has gained self worth and confidence, which is evident in her newfound outlook on dating. It doesn't seem like she'll be jumping into anything serious again anytime soon. Instead, she's casually dating and enjoying time with herself, her friends, and her family. That being said, she has been getting close to another former 90-day cast member. Lalissa has been seen hanging out with David Murphy, formerly of Lana and David, from season 4 of Before the 90 Days. Fans seem to agree that, if the reality stars do end up together, they will chalk David and Lalissa up to a rebound relationship. She wants Andrew to put himself in her shoes. It's like he doesn't really see what I'm going through. While Lalissa was detained in Mexico, Andrew was enjoying a beach vacation. He rode four wheelers, ate at a fancy steakhouse, got a massage, and practiced self care. While on the phone with Andrew, days after her release, he told her all about his vacation and began planning a new country from where Lalissa should attempt to enter the U. S. This phone call was a game changer for Lalissa. It appeared to be the moment she realizes Andrew is not capable of empathy. Meanwhile, she spent months doing whatever he asked of her and constantly worrying about his well being. She prioritizes herself. I am going to try to love myself again. Lalissa vowed to put herself first after things with Andrew went bad, and she's done just that. Lalissa now knows she deserves better. According to updates on 90 Day Diaries, she's driving, which is a testament to the fact that, for her, this journey isn't only about finding love from other people, it's also about learning to love herself. Lalissa is repairing her relationship with her father. She's also working in healthcare and says enjoys helping people. It seems obvious she's better off without Andrew in her life, and, after all of the work she's put into trying to love herself again, it's likely she won't end up with someone like him in the future. She considers the bigger picture. I need to assess the full situation. Unlike Andrew, who keeps jumping into poorly thought out plans, Mexico and Serbia, to name a few, Lalissa is always attempting to learn the depth and breadth of the situation. On more than one occasion, she is pressured by Andrew into doing something she is uncomfortable with without having enough time to fully analyze her decision. However, eventually, she seems to become aware of this and begins to push back. This realization marked the beginning of the end for Andrew and Lalissa.